Arithmetic operators allow us to perform mathematical calculations inside our programs. Most of the keywords are very identical to the C-sharp language. Here we have a table of the different arithmetic operations, their corresponding symbols, and their example usage in Java. Operations in Java, just like in other languages, follows an order. This rule determines which procedure to perform first in order to evaluate a given expression. Here we have a web page that discusses the operator precedence in Java in full length. I'll put the link on the description. You don't have to memorize the whole table. For the most part, all you need is the parentheses alongside the arithmetic operators. For starters, you can just simply apply the old PEMDAS rule. PEMDAS means parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Java does not have an operator for exponents. The class called math handles exponents and other advanced mathematical expressions. In PEMDAS, all expressions inside parentheses are calculated first, then multiplication, division, finally addition and subtraction. Let's consider the following equation. If we calculate this in order of how it is read, I'm going to pull up the calculator. 5 plus 4 minus 1 divided by 2 times 4 so this is going to give us 16 but if we bring this over to java we're going to get 9 this is because the multiplication and division were calculated first before the addition and subtraction so to fix this all we need to do is enclose our addition and subtraction inside your parentheses now this part of the equation will be prioritized before multiplication and addition so now if we build and run we're gonna get the correct answer let's try all the arithmetic operations first let's create two variables i'm gonna call this one num1 i'm gonna give it a value 4 and then another variable called num2 i'm gonna give it a value 2. let's try multiplication so i'm gonna create another variable I'm going to call this prod or product. I'm going to say equals num1 times num2, semicolon. We're going to write a print line statement and output the value of prod. Build and run. It's going to give us the product of num1 and num2. This time, let's try the modulus operator. The modulus operator will return the remainder between two operands. So let's try this one. I'm going to call this rem for remainder equals num1 percent sign for modulus and then num2 semicolon. And let's print out rem. Build and run. It's going to return 0 because there's no remainder between 4 and 2. Suppose we change this to an odd number. I'm going to change that to 3 and then build and run. Now we have a remainder. Right, let's try division. I'm going to change num2 back to 2. I'm going to declare another variable. I'm going to call this quo for quotient equals num1 divided by num2. I'm going to output quo. Build and run and it's going to say 2. Next, let's try addition. I'm going to call this one sum equals num1 plus num2. Let's output sum, build and run. It's going to say 6. Finally, we have subtraction. Int diff for difference equals num1 minus num2. Let's output diff, build and run. It's going to give us the difference. As mentioned before, Java doesn't have an operator for exponents, but we have a class called math that can handle this kind of operations. So the class is called math, and the method is called POW or POW for power. What you have to remember is that this method is a double method, so it returns a double value. So to use this, we declare a double variable. Let's call this exponent equals math.pow. Parentheses. Inside the parentheses, we're going to supply this with two arguments. The base number, for example, 4, comma, and the exponent to which 4 is going to be raised to. For example, 2. So this will be 4 raised to 2. 
or to the power of 2. Let's output the result using a print line statement. Let's build and run. It's going to say 16. Let's cross check this with Excel. So 4 raised to 2, you have 16, so it's correct. Let's change the values, so 9 cubed. Let's build and run, we have 729. In Excel, let's do the same thing, 9 cubed, we get 729. So that's how you get exponents using the math class.